so this morning I was happy uploading Vulcanus 20, everything was going smoothly and then YouTube said oh your video is ready to view so on my phone where I upload it at the moment because I haven't set on my computer yet I like scrolled down to refresh the page just to make sure everything's fine and then the video had disappeared so I went to the actual website so I could go into my video manager and see what the hell was going on only to find that I had a worldwide ban on that video. Uh, a worldwide ban from the BBC. Clearly the BBC didn't like that I was watching one of their documentaries in my video and decided to ban it in all countries. Like you couldn't even play this video. And like I was sitting there like, what the fuck? The BBC have banned my video. And then I text like Ellen Vicky and I was like, what the fuck? I've just got like a worldwide ban on my video from the BBC. And they were like, no, what the fuck shop? So then I sent them a screenshot of it and it was just, it was quite funny. Basically what had happened was I was watching a documentary and I had it on in the background and I was vlogging like I am here. And then I sort of went, oh, got distracted by like what was a cute animal on the screen. So I flicked the camera around. So you can see now I'm getting distracted by ghost adventures. So it happens, but yeah, so I turned this camera around so that you could see the animal and it was like, it was panning some rocks, there was like some twigs and stuff and until this animal sprung back up and then I was talking over it all the time so you couldn't get any of the documentary and yeah, the BBC banned it for like 20 seconds. <sighs> but yeah. Weird. So now I've had to like redo it and re-upload it. So the video is there, but I think there's only like five seconds showing this animal now instead. Um, but yeah, I got banned by the BBC. How weird. Like I've never had that happen before. Anything that's ever got a copyright claim in it has always just been like um, either you send the money you make off that video to the person who's putting the copyright claim or you um, just don't put ads on it. So I was fully expecting to have this video with no ads on it. Not that it makes a difference because like nobody watches these videos. But yeah, I was like, it's okay. I know I'm showing like a little bit of this documentary. It's not the full thing. I'll probably just not be able to put ads on it. But I was not expecting to get like a, a ban, a, like a complete ban. No, you can't even have this video on YouTube kind of ban. Um, and now I'm like, damn, do, am I going to have like a proper strike against me on YouTube? Because I don't want that, like, I don't want to have it, like, affect my channel. But, yeah, it's funny. Because, like, my little videos, my vlogs, I get, like, 20 views if I'm lucky. <laughs> I got banned. Oh, it makes me laugh. Oh my god, I think this is the ghost adventures that I watched where one of them gets dragged away. I love ghost adventures. It's what made me get into ghost hunting actually. Like, I've always been fascinated by ghosts and stuff like that. But, um, I used to watch Most Haunted, but so much of that was fake. And you could tell it was faked. And it was, it was really annoying watching that woman and her overreactions, so... I stopped watching it and then I found Ghost Adventures and it was sort of just like watching people that were really interested and like they they sort of appear like they don't want to fake it all so I don't know if it's faked or not I think it's highly dramatised if something does happen that they can't really explain it's like they really overreact to it but I don't oh. For the most part, I don't think it's fake. I do quite like it. And another thing I like is, but yeah, I love BuzzFeed Unsolved because I like, um, I like that they do supernatural stuff. And I also like that they do crime stuff, like unsolved crimes. Um, it's quite interesting. I'm really into all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, so when Aurora's napping, like, and I've got half an hour to spare, 
Um, I'll probably I put like one of those on. You haven't claimed Just like as something to chill and but watch for myself. Like That's you know I actually still watch whatever I want at the moment on telly because I'm like. Are still Why but you only have because Aurora's like not old enough to take it all in. Although mostly I just watch documentaries. Um, but yeah, it's... Yeah, I got banned by the BBC. That was this whole vlog introduction. But I do need to do my um, advent calendar, so let's get on with that. I didn't do it yesterday, and I need to do today. So you've got two openings today. <laughs> Do, do. What day is it today? Like, not date, I mean day. Is it Wednesday? Because if it is, I need to, like, prep the house for guests tomorrow. Everyone's just like, oh, what are you doing, mother? What is this thing? So, 19, that was yesterday. Up, 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 up. Mm. Mm. Is it Niagara Falls? Is that came in Canada? It's on the border, Canada, America. Oh my God, Venezuela! Like, what's their waterfall then? Offer to walk a friend's dog. Pause for reaction. Oh, I don't have any mates with dogs, apart from my mom. But I'm not walking that dog because she's nuts. Oh, I think this is another glitter. Yep, yeah, another glitter. This time it's gold. Um, but Body Shop Glitter isn't biodegradable, but they are currently working on a line of biodegradable glitters. Um, but I have made the conscious decision to not buy glitter unless it's biodegradable because it's the same thing as microplastics. I raised this with some friends the other day and asked their opinion. So I was like, should I get rid of my glitters? Um, I'm not sure. Because obviously like, I've got rid of everything that's not cruelty free now. And I just wanted to know if I should do the same with my glitters. And then I was like, even if I get rid of them or give them to someone else, they're still staying in the environment. So it's not actually accomplishing anything for my own peace of mind. Like, I could pass this on to my sister, but I still know it's going into the environment. So, my solution is that I will keep it and use it as ethically as I can while minimising it going down the drains. Like, so just using the cellar water to take it off rather than using a face wash that I then wash down the drain. Um, because then I can minimise it going into the oceans, getting into the animals, food chains and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be more ethically conscious about my glitter from now on and not purchase it unless I know it's biodegradable. So, long-winded story there, but my glitter is just... I know there is a potential ban coming much like there was on those small plastic beads that were in like toothpaste and body scrubs and stuff. Um, I've put that in the wrong way around. So hopefully like it does get passed and then all glitter will be biodegradable. Um, but I was quite shocked at the body shop not being it. I thought they would be a brand that was already biodegradable. Uh, oh, this must be a heavy box because it's already open. Which Christmas film features 10 Downing Street? Oh, that's Love Actually. I know that because my dad watches it all the time. Make story time special by reading to a child. I read to you all the time. Uh, why are you waiting this? Yeah, so I read to Aurora all the time. She's got loads of books. And I just found some of my old ones from when I was a kid. So you can read those with me. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love this stuff. I've got a bottle that's open. But this is so good. It's like a um, supercharger, basically, for your skincare. Um, it's like I think it's an anti-aging one, Youth Concentrate. But I just apply like a few drops, um, let it sink in, and then go in with my normal skincare. And it's just like 
amps it up a little bit. I don't use it all the time, like, I'll use it for a week to kickstart and then go a few weeks without it and then use it again. Um, but it is really good for, like, just giving everything a bit of a boost. I love this. So I'm really glad that I've got another one because, like, if I remember rightly, these are expensive, like, 20 odd quid maybe. I can't remember, I'll have to look up, especially this size. I know I can buy this size, because I have this size. Um, but I can't remember how much this size is. But I do remember it being quite expensive. So, I joined a new group on Facebook the other day. Um, and it's like a makeup challenge group. I'll post the link down below, um, if I remember it. Uh, but I think it's called s &T Challenges. So, I'll put it down somewhere anyway. But yeah, um, the theme for today is flowers, and I've just had my challenge, and I'm just getting Aurora to sleep, and then I'm going to have to go and do it, and I'm kind of nervous, because it's like, I love my makeup, and I use my makeup all the time, but I don't feel like I'm that skilled, so I joined it so I could try some new things, but like, this one's like, whoa, like I've looked at it, I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. So, but it's like got some really great girls in there that seem like they're going to be really supportive. So, fingers crossed, it goes okay. I can make a passable attempt of it. And um, yeah, and then I get some tips and pointers for next time where I can improve and stuff. So, we'll see. Kind of nervous though. <laughs> so, I did my makeup challenge. It's all floral. So, tried to attempt to put flowers on my eyebrows didn't go so well I really took them off this side because they're kind of it feels funny like too dry and I can't move my eyebrows almost so but I'm impressed with my cut crease like I've never done a cut crease look before so pretty happy